In this video, I'm going to show you how you can start using M-Pesa mobile app to make transactions such as sending money, pay bill payments, and so many others. I'll also show you some of the greatest features that you should know and start using on M-Pesa app. So my name is Isaac and this is a minute with AI. If you find this video helpful, I'll kindly request that you hit the like button and subscribe to this channel to support me. So the first thing you need to do to get the M-Pesa app is to go to Play Store. So if you go to Play Store here and then just type in M-Pesa, you can see the app is here. Just tap on it and then go ahead and install. So once you have installed it, it's time to go ahead and open. Just tap on this open and the app will open. So I already have the M-Pesa app here on my smartphone and I'm going to open it. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to transact and practically I'll be making sent money transaction and also pay bill transaction just to show you how to use this app. So if you're using this app for the first time, you'll have just to enter your phone number and then you'll have to enter your M-Pesa pin, the usual M-Pesa pin you normally use. And once that is done, you will have logged in. So once you log into your M-Pesa account, you'll be able to see your balance here and here is the balance section. And you can in fact hide or show this balance. So if I tap on it, I can hide it. And as you can see, it is hidden. If you tap on this eye again, it will now show your balance. You can also see your full user limit there. Now, if you look at this interface, you see we have quite a number of things we can do with this app. So the first option you can see we have a send money option, which is this send and request. And then we have pay and withdraw and even by airtime so you can do all these things and many more others so let me show you how you can easily send money and by the way this is the best way to send money you'll rarely send money to the wrong number if you are using m-pesa app so go ahead and tap send and here you have to and here you have to choose an option whether you want to send money request money or you want to make the global payment when you talk of global payment we are talking of the visa payments and such you can as well go ahead and make your transaction using QR scan. So maybe you want to make um, a payment or to send a payment via scanning a QR code. You can just use this. So to send money, just tap on this send money. And this will give you an option to enter your phone number first. If you had previously sent money to other contacts, you can see they will be under frequency. Those contacts that you frequently sent money to, as you can see, mine are here. Alternatively, you can go ahead and enter the phone number. So if you don't have the number saved on your smartphone, just go ahead and tap on enter phone number. And here you'll have an option to just type in that number that you want to send the money to. And that will be good. So for my case, I don't want to enter the phone number. I want to send money to a contact that I have on my smartphone already. If you already have the phone number you want to send money to on your smartphone, just use the search option here on top here. So just go ahead, type on search. And from here, you can search the name you saved on your phone and then it will appear here. So for instance, I want to send some money to my brother. So just go ahead and type the name of my brother. And once I see it, I just tap on it. Now I can just go ahead and enter the amount I want to send. So for instance, I want to send some little amount. Say I want to send him 950 shillings. So I've entered the amount. If you have enough money in your wallet, this will be green and you'll have an option to continue. However, if you have less, you will not be able to continue. You'll have to reduce the amount. Now there is another great option under this M-Pesa app that you can use, that is adding withdrawal fee. So instead of struggling to calculate the withdrawal amount that, that you might add on top of the amount you want to send, if you want just to include the withdrawal money, for instance, I want to send him exactly 950, but I also want to cover the cost of withdrawing so that he receives exactly 950, and this should not be part of the withdrawal money. So I can go ahead and add withdrawal money, and as you can see here, it is 29 shillings for 950 shillings. So I just go ahead and tap on add withdrawal fee. And it will automatically add it at the final payment stage. So once you're done, go ahead and tap on continue. So you can see the name of the person receiving the money and then the amount. Now you can see here the withdrawal fee has been included. And then down here, you can see the amount will be charged, the transaction cost on your side. So I'll be charged 13 shillings. Go ahead and tap on send. 
and then you have to enter your pin to complete this transaction so i'll go ahead and enter my pin and now see the transaction is successful i've received the person notification here so once you're done just tap on done here so i'll go ahead and exit by tapping on done and this will take me again to home page you can see the balance has been refreshed and now i have less amount now the next payment you may want to make is buy goods or pay bill i'll go ahead and make a pay bill payment for maybe my internet services and see how that goes so for that just go ahead and tap on pay this pay we have here option pay bill buy goods pochila biashara and then we have global pay and qr scan so i want to make a pay bill payment and we have here some of the readily available pay bill numbers for instance we have for tv and internet water safaricom electricity so if you was is here for instance you want to pay the internet you can go ahead and choose from this for instance i want to pay fiber internet you can see the option for jamie telecommunication is here this is the pay bill number i can just go ahead and tap on it and the pay bill will be added here alternatively if you don't have that pay bill number already added on your um, on your phone you can just go ahead and tap on this enter pay bill and then go ahead and enter your pay bill number here for instance i can go ahead and enter my pay bill number and then proceed and as you can see it has brought me the same center name that is jamie telecommunication under it enter your account so i'll go ahead and enter my jamie telecommunication account number and there we go that is my account number then i'll tap on continue now here you have to choose whether you want to pay with the amount or you want to pay with your bonga points so if you tap here you can make your choice whether you want to make the payment with your bonga points and as you can see we have the, that option here so for instance i want to make the payment with my mpesa wallet balance so i'll go ahead and enter my amount so if you want to pay with your mpesa balance just go ahead and enter the exact amount that you want to make and then tap on continue now this will go ahead and give you the summary of your payment details if you are okay you can see the business name is this the pay bill number is this and the account is this and the amount you want to pay is this and as you can see the fee that will be charged the fee that i will be charged the transaction cost is 34 shillings so if you are okay go ahead and tap on pay bill now this will take you to the last and the final step where you just enter your pin number and that is it and as you can see the transaction is done the amount has been paid and that is complete i can now exit by just tapping on done and as you can see the page will refresh automatically and you'll now be able to see your new balance now the next important thing you can do with your mpesa app is to get the transaction messages so in one way or another if you have lost your or if you have deleted your mpesa statement or your mpesa transaction code the easiest way to get it is to go to this statement as you can see we have here mpesa statement and if you tap on see all this will list your recent mpesa transactions that you have just made now from this list you can tap on any and you will be able to see the amount you made for instance if someone maybe claims they paid you some amount and you can't see the amount you can just go ahead and look for the date for instance we have here a summary of the recent payments but you can go back up to the last three months you can see this is april you can go back to the payment for march you can go back to the payment of february so it gives you a summary of the last three months transaction just tap on any you will be able to see their names here and once you see their names you can go ahead now tap on the name and this will give you the transaction code the amount paid and even the date the payment was done which is here including the time should you need to print a statement or get a statement for a longer period of time you can still go ahead and download your statement here using the mpesa statement if you go ahead and tap on see all down here you'll see an option to export a statement so from this if you tap on this you'll have an option to choose the type of transactions so we have all transactions here or if you just want the sent money transactions you can just choose this if you want pay bill transactions select pay bill and that will change you can as well go ahead and tap on buy goods if it is for sent money you can as well go ahead and just select sent money then from here you have to go ahead and choose the period under which you want 
to get the statement and as you can see you have you can choose here the start date and then the end date so for instance i want a statement for buy goods i'll go ahead and select buy goods and then i'll choose start date and then the end date now here start date you can go back to any period of time that you want so for instance i can say i want from maybe i can choose january here and if i choose the date you can see it has changed you can even change the year and then the end date that is the latest date that i want and then go ahead and tap on generate statement so if i go ahead and generate statement it will generate for me a buy good statement for the said period of time and you can see the statement is successful and now it has been sent to my phone and now look at that this is all my my buy good statement for the selected period of time so i can go through it and i'll be able to see all the transaction so if i zoom this you can see all the transactions the date they were done and the details of the businesses these payments were made to you can see all of them here if you want this statement to be you want to use it for official purposes you can as well go ahead and download it and then send it to wherever you want comes to your phone and you can download it you can see the download option is here now you can open it externally and here is the statement so i'll go ahead and save this is by good statement i'll save it and now i have it on my phone here it is so that's how you download your statement from safaricom m -Pesa app you don't have to visit customer care services to get your m -Pesa statement you can also go ahead and obtain other services through this app such as the zd money market funds services the mali the m -Shuri, if you want to transact and kcb m -Pesa, they are all available here and if you tap on view all you can see quite a number of services that you can get through this m -Pesa app now the other thing is you can monitor your graph your transaction graph straight from your m -Pesa app if you go here on top and tap on this chart you'll be able to see the graph of your transaction and this will give you a split of how you have transacted the general transaction the family and friends transactions and also the withdrawal transactions so if you tap under each you'll be able to see using mpesa app you can even go ahead and switch between months you can see for the last six months you can also go back and this information will all be available here so that's how you use your mpesa app to perform various activity or to transact with ease so if you have any other question kindly let me know in the comment section otherwise if this video was helpful to you i'll kindly request that you hit the like button and subscribe to this channel to support me thank you for watching and let's meet in the next video